Good morning, subscribers. Um, again, um, today I am going to share with you another video, and uh, I will be discussing today another um, loop statement in um, C programming uh, language. Okay. And uh, on my on my previous video, I was discussing about a uh, for loop statement. Um, I did mention that for loop statement uh, needs to have at least uh, these three uh, three processes. Number one is uh, initialization, the number two is condition, and then number three is uh, uh, incrementation or decrementation, right? And uh, there are actually four types of uh, loop statement in C programming language. Okay. Number one is uh, for loop, then uh, second is a uh, while loop and the third one is do while loop and the fourth one is a uh, nested loop today i am going to discuss a uh, while loop and uh, along the way i will be giving examples for me to you know to give some technical explanation as to how while do loop behaves when we are going to use uh, this particular loop statement in uh, in a program okay and uh, same with the uh, for loop statement. Um, while loop statement in every loop it consists of three parts in a sequence, right? Number one is initialization, number two is condition, the number three is updation or incrementation or decrementation. Okay. Now um, I have here a sample program. Okay. Uh, uh, the main the main function in here is that uh, I tend to initialize i by zero, right? And then I did use printf to display these printing numbers using while loop statement uh, zero to nine. Okay? Meaning this program will display zero up to to nine to display whatever is the value of, of i, right? And then I, I I did use here while statement, okay? while loop statement. And this is my this is my loop body. It is within the, the, the curly brackets, okay? I hope you're following my, my screen. And uh, within my within my loop body, I do have three statements. Number one is, the first one is the printf statement. I am going to display whatever is the value of i, right? And then the second one is, I tend to increase i by one every time it loops, okay? So meaning, while this condition is true, while i is lesser than 10, then this loop body will be executed. And every time it loops, because of this I++, right? Because of this I++, uh, the value of I will increase. At first, I is 1, uh, 0. Then when it loops, it becomes 1. When it loops again, it becomes 2, 3, 4, until such time that this particular condition here becomes false. And once the condition is false, it will then exit from the loop. It will not perform these two statements and look for another, another statement like right after this curly bracket and in this particular program there is no there's none so the program will exit and it will only display whatever is the value of i while i is lesser than 10 okay so that is that is the the, the behavior of um, while loop statement technically uh if we are to compare while loop from for loop, uh, technically they're actually the same. They're going to, to they're going to perform a particular loop body in several times while the condition is true. And if it is false, it will exit. The 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 difference lies on the syntax. Okay, so in here, for example, if we are going to con convert this program this line here into a for loop statement, okay, so. Uh, there's no need for you to to say int i is equal to zero. No, because part of the loop is initialization. So we'll just say for for i is equal to zero, right? I is less than ten, and then i plus plus. Okay, and then the next one is again a curly bracket, right? And then same 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 line of commands right present day 
max less n, then whatever is the value of i, then next one is no need for no need for i plus plus because i plus plus is in here already. It's part of for loop. And no need for saying end i is equal to zero because you have here i is equal to zero. All you need to do is to end i lang. Just 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 declare i by just declare i in as a as, as an integer variable. Okay? So so if we are to look at it, um, for loop statement is simpler than while loop statement. But there are there are some programming problems that demands for a particular loop statement. There are some programming problems that needs to, to, to use while loop statement. But in my case, when, when I when I tend to use loop statement, I am more inclined with the for loop for loop statement. Okay? So we'll try running this program. Okay. I have I would like to share my my uh, online compiler in here. Uh, what is that? We'll just to we'll just for a while. Uh, we'll to save time. We'll just to to copy and paste this program. Okay, and uh, paste it here. Hey, I hope you're following my screen. Now, this is now our program. And uh, if we are going to execute this program, all we have to do is to click run button in here. And it will display what? Printing numbers using while loop from 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. These are actually the values of i. Every time it loops, it increases by 1. Right? And at such time, uh, the loop condition becomes false. When is the time that the loop is false? If i is equal to 10. Because 10 is not anymore less than 10. And when it is false, it will exit from the loop. Okay. Now, to minimize run window, uh, we'll try to erase backslash n so as to display it horizontally. Okay, so this is now the screen output. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? Now, if we are to, if we are to, to insert, okay, if we are to insert uh, another formula, okay, and then um, whatever is the value of y, we can, we'll multiply it by, by, by 10. So when we are going to run this program, so instead of displaying 0 to 9, it, did, it now displays the value of i, then this one is the value of i times 10, the value of i, this one is i times 10, this is i, and this is i times 10, this is i, and this is i times 10. This is actually the result of two primitive statements, right? So. This is actually the, 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 the function of uh, while loop statement. It's very simple. Okay? And uh, I, I, I hope I was able to discuss the technicality of while loop statement. By the way, uh, if we are going to convert this problem or program into a for loop statement, please follow me. Please follow my screen. We'll try to do this. We'll erase this in initialization. We'll just declare int i and then instead of using while loop okay uh, we'll be using for loop okay. so i is equal to one and of zero right and then i is uh, less than 10 right then i plus plus then and then we'll try to delete this line because um, we already have i plus plus in here okay so if we are going to run this program um, actually the same result the same result okay so most of the times when you are to when you are to create programs and if there's a need for you to use loop statement uh, you can either you can either use anything. I mean, any 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 types of loop statement. 
similar to if statements there are four in here with loop statement there are also four for loop while loop do while and nested loop okay on my next video i will be discussing do while statement again it's another loop statement but uh, there is this slight difference between for loop while loop against do while loop i'm going to discuss that one next video of mine so that ends my discussion today i hope you learned something about um, while loop statement i hope i was able to discuss it clearly okay and i hope you'll be sharing this video to your relatives to your friends uh, most especially to those who are you know willing to learn programming thing um, like i said and as i always mention this one if you are going to if you want to learn programming the best thing to start is you have to learn c programming Thank you so much for for now. Uh, God bless you. God bless us all. God is always good.